Masa Amini, gone too soon due to radical Islamic violence. In Iran, women must wear the hijab. They must wear it properly. She wore it a little too far back, okay? She didn't even take it off and do a full protest. She wore it a little too far back, and she was approached with her family. Now imagine if a bunch of police came up to your family and go, her, we need to take her. They took her for re-education. We'll bring her back tomorrow. And during that re-education and morality teaching, she ended up dead. That means... Whatever they did to re-educate her uh, left her no longer living. So you talk about George Floyd and this. This guy's breaking hundreds of laws. He's holding guns and knives to women's bellies. And eventually he passes away. You all want to lionize George Floyd. Here's an innocent person you could actually stand behind. If you made a statue for her and ripped down the George Floyd, you'd be in good shape. This is just a girl who wore her headscarf slightly wrong, took her away, ends up dead. The Iranian police have now said the woman's death was unfortunate. Uh, I think it's more than unfortunate. So now there's protesters because Iranians have finally had enough. Now, Iranian people are not supposed to be under the thumb of radical Islam. This culture was freedom loving. They have delicious food. They're intelligent. They have delicious dance and art and poetry. And they love wine and women and parties. But look, once the stupid radical leftist students open the gate and let mullahs and the radical Islamic people take over with weapons. That's why you need weapons. So that can't happen for the last 40 years. Every woman has been treated like I'm about to show you. So you decide if you want to be a cool, open-minded leftist and get everybody killed, or do you want to consider yourself a conservative or a moderate like me and keep freedom ringing? Take a look at what happened. The death of one woman mobilizes Iranians. Mahsa Amini has become a symbol for those who want to abandon not only the morality police, which they hold accountable for the young woman's killing, but the entire regime, here calling for the death of Iran's supreme leader Khamenei. Amini was arrested by Iran's morality police for not wearing her hijab properly. She died in custody. Protesters charged she was beaten to death. Demonstrations which broke out at her funeral in her hometown Sakez in the province Kurdistan on Friday are spreading to other cities in the province. Protests were seen in Tehran over the weekend and on Monday as well. Women removing their hijab and waving it. Also university students in Tehran joined the protest. There and elsewhere, violent clashes between protesters and police occurred. The Kurdish human rights organization Henga filed this report on Monday. At least three citizens were killed and 221 others were injured. More than 250 citizens were forcefully abducted by the security forces of the Islamic Republic. On Monday as well, the opposition newspaper Iran International reported that the camera overlooking the metro station in Tehran, where Mahsa Amini was supposedly beaten by police forces, was removed. A day before, they published images of her fractured skull. On social media, caricatures against the regime are shed and women openly show their opposition in their own way. Today is a sign of protest. I did not observe my hijab everywhere I went. And I do this in memory of dear Masa because I feel this is my duty. And if we remain silent and not react, we deserve what is happening to us. So I will not be silent. And I protest in my power against this unjust bloodshed. And as I have been walking in my city without hijab, so far no one has been able to disturb me. And I am glad that I am not silent. Although President Ibrahim Raisi has ordered an investigation into the circumstances of Mahsa Amini's early death, people on the street are convinced that she fell victim to Iran's enforcement of morality. And more and more people are taking to the streets, identifying with Mahsa Amini in the belief that what happened to her is anything but moral. So that is a little light shed on it. If we can honor a drug dealing, counterfeit billing criminal like George Floyd for a year and a half, burn down every major city, rob shoes from every footlocker in America and destroy small businesses and targets around the world, obviously you should have to know about that too. Masamini is gone far too soon. And that is all we can really say about that. What's cool is people are standing up. I feel very bad for the Iranian people because Joe Biden is in office. And my message to the Iranian people is, as you can see, because I share this kind of story and I'm on your side, the radical left supports the regime. Democrats in America support nuclear deals with Iran, making the mullah stronger. They supported shutting off our energy creation, making Putin stronger because you had to go get oil and gas from him. 
So every bad decision made by Democrats in America has come home to roost on your doorstep. Smart Iranians follow me. Ones that are not manipulated by the media, ones that are not ridiculous, ones that are not so politicized and radical that they have to go with whatever the Democrats tell them. So if you want the most famous Persian comedian on YouTube, that's me. Look at my subscriber count. Then you need Trump in a time like this because at the very least you wouldn't hurt your cause. Biden right now is probably trying to make a deal with the mullahs to help tamp you down and to help kill all the protesters in the streets so that the mullahs can retain their power. I don't know what it is with Democrats, but they love having you suffering. Then they can sneak a few of you over and then tell you they were the one who helped you.